Independent inspectors say the situation is, quote, grave at Europe's largest nuclear power plant. The facility seized by Russian soldiers early in the war is along the front lines of some of the most fierce fighting in Ukraine. Jay Gray has the latest on the situation both outside and inside the plant. The sounds of children playing replaces the violent echo of bombs and bullets. But in this park, about 30 miles from the front lines, it's impossible to escape the constant fear that comes with war. It has not left us since the first days of the war. The heart is pounding, beating, thoughts are loaded, and everything is filled with fear. Zaporizhia is a city unlike any other in Ukraine. Here they face a dual threat, advancing Russian troops, their missiles, and the possibility of a nuclear disaster. Just outside the city, the scars of battle are evident at Europe's largest nuclear power plant. Impact holes, um, markings on, on buildings of um, uh, shell. So which means that the physical integrity of the facility uh, has been violated not once, but several, uh, several times. Shelling has knocked out the main power line to the plant, leaving just one of the six massive reactors operational with the facility under the control of Russian soldiers, but still being run by Ukrainian scientists. Independent inspectors remain on site, providing at least a bit of comfort for those coping outside the facility. I hope that they can change something, they can improve the situation, because we really need some control there. And I hope that they can help us. Because if there is no control, no people there who can look on this old stuff, I think that it will be just something awful. As families hold each other a little tighter now, many, like this grandmother, also clinging to the hope children will, she says, grow up in a free country that they will love Ukraine. Jay Gray, NBC News, Zaporizhia.